Has this ever happened to you? Do you often get overwhelmed when looking at your touring gear? Well then we've got the solution for you. We've got some simple steps to help you get that load of gear into your panniers as easily as possible and turn that frown upside down. Before you start packing, make sure to get an inventory of your supplies. Once you have it all laid out, it's easy to see what you need and what you don't need. Take out anything that is not essential to your trip. This will also show you what's missing from your supplies so you can purchase any items that you don't have. Don't forget your toilet paper! Now that you've got all your gear, it's time to place it all neatly inside your panniers in a fun and responsible manner. Start by grouping your similar items together. That way your spoons are next to your knives, which are next to your bowls and plates, which are next to your cooking pot. Going to three different panniers for three different items would be a hassle. Store your least immediately needed items in the bottom of your panniers, with the heavier items going to the front bags. This will help with stability and put less wear and tear on your back tire as well. You should also make sure that your weight is evenly distributed among your panniers to avoid any balance issues. A 60-40 split with the 60% going to the front panniers is a good rule of thumb. If you're still having trouble fitting all your stuff as it is, you can utilize more space with a technique that we like to call the good old fashioned Russian doll. If you're carrying a pot, shoes, a box, anything with space inside of it, you can stuff other things in there to make more room. You can save even more room by rolling your clothes and using compression and stuff sacks to hold those loose items and squeeze in a few more inches of space. Finally, if you're carrying electronics or valuable items, there are some smart ways to store them to maximize space and minimize any chances for them to get damaged. If you don't want to buy a hard case, you can use the original box. Just make sure to pad it. Then use something like bubble wrap or a foam pad to wrap your items. When wrapping, make sure that you have padding on both sides to minimize shock and shaking. Using a waterproof cover or rain poncho will be a great addition to keeping those circuit boards dry. Take your load out for a spin and get a feel for how your bike is going to ride on the road. If you need to make some adjustments or move some items around to better suit your touring style, then do so. You're done. You're packed. You're ready to ride. If you want to read more about bicycle touring, visit the always amazing Adventure Cycling Association. And if you want to learn more about us and see our gear list, check us out at americabicycle.com.